Hey guys, what's up? Queen EK here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, then welcome for the first time. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification button so you don't miss any more videos from me. And thank you for clicking on this video. That's awesome. So today's video is going to be all about how I cleared my dark marks and blemishes. Or I guess just dark marks. I'm not here to show you guys how to clear up your acne. This is simply for people who have been able to keep their acne under control and now want to work on clearing the dark marks. For me personally, I did have problems with acne for a while, but I got it under control by using medication and medicated creams to get rid of the acne. But after that's done, you're left with a lot of discoloration, hyperpigmentation, and dark spots. So that's what I'm going to talk about today and how I basically got my skin to this because I'm in shock like I am in shock if I can find other um, pictures of my skin throughout the process I'll put them in here but if not this is my end result guys like as you can see from the beginning picture this is a miracle um, so this spot right here though is just recent it just happened so let's just ignore that one I am wearing a bit of concealer not really on my face though point is you guys can see there's nothing even there like if I take my shirt and I like fully go like that um, you guys can see my face is a little red now because I've been rubbing it but I have this one spot and there's nothing else this is the same cheek that is in the picture of my before picture and this is the other side I never really had any problems on this side really so this was my main problem side yeah and this one I don't know what's going on this is actually like Something's happening here, so hopefully that doesn't get too bad. But you guys see the difference. Like, my skin isn't perfect, but it is 10 times better than it was a few months ago. So I just want to show you guys how I got clear skin or how I got even tone skin really, really fast. Like I said, this is not to help clear acne. So if you do have a lot of acne, I would say take time to clear those bumps because this process can irritate those pimples and make it worse. So just get that under control first. Speak to a doctor or a dermatologist and see what you can do about the acne first. And then when you're done and your face is flat, you have all the like discoloration like I did, then you can try out this process that I'm about to show you guys. So I was able to do this within a month. Um, and it was nice because it's summer and I feel like, I don't know, my skin was able to breathe and get nourished by the sun. Like I feel like the sun just makes your skin so much healthier. Okay, so something I would recommend is to try to reduce the amount of makeup you're wearing and let your skin breathe a little bit. And in that meantime, also like try to get some sun. Obviously be protected, wear sunscreen, but try to get some sun so the sun can naturally even out your skin as much as possible. And um, try to, I feel like it heals skin a lot. I'm not a scientist or a dermatologist, so I don't actually know how much Sun actually does for you I'm just talking from my own personal experience being out in the Sun without makeup with just a bit of sunscreen and letting my face get the tan that it needs helped a lot with the discoloration and just I don't know I feel like it nourished my face that's all I can say I'm not a scientist that's not my main that's not the only thing that fixed this this is just a little tip that I'm just throwing out there that might work for you guys okay so the second thing I would always I always always encourage is drinking a lot of water just so your skin isn't dry and sensitive and like you know everything starts from the inside out so I would just recommend drinking a lot of water just so your skin is nice and moisturized and just healthy because when your skin is unhealthy I feel like it just damages a lot easier because it's so sensitive right so drink a lot of water keep your skin healthy and nourished and then try to start like a good routine so after those two main points I'm gonna show you guys what products I actually use to achieve clear skin within like a month within about a month yeah because this was this summer that I achieved this so while I was on vacation while I was somewhere where nobody knew me <laughs> I was able to clear up my skin and just kind of not care what anybody thinks of my face without makeup Take that time for yourself and just don't care. The first thing I use is, I've done a video like this before and you guys will probably know that I'm gonna talk about this, but the first thing I use to kind of smoothen my skin out is this makeup brush. So it is an electronic makeup scrubbing brush. You can use one that's manual, but I personally like the ones that are electronic just because I feel like they have a bit more, I don't know, they get the dead skin off quick. So instead of using like an exfoliating um, glove or like a, manual one i like the electronic one because they're quick and they're fast and they're strong so this one i got from 
the drugstore and it is Olay. So it's the Olay brand one. And I know that Vanity Planet has a really popular one, so you can also check those out. You can get this anywhere. You get them from Target, Shoppers Drug Mart, CVS, whatever. Wherever you live, just go to the drugstore. I'm sure you can find this. So this is my number one tool. This gets rid of all the dead skin on my face. Again, when I do not have pimples, this is the best thing to use because it doesn't like my skin isn't getting irritated. When I do have breakouts, though, I don't like to use this because it it really like it's it gets irritated and inflamed and it's just not fun. So when your face is flat <laughs> and you're dealing with dark marks this is good to use twice a day that's what i did morning and night every day i kept my skin clean like clean crisp if i didn't have to wear makeup i won't wear it so i use this all the time just to make sure my pores are deeply cleansed and i'm getting rid of all the dead skin so getting rid of the dead skin forces my skin to renew itself and just create a nice new layer and that new layer isn't damaged so it's kind of nice because i got my pimples under control so that was good so now the soaps that i was using within this time um the first one i just kept the tag on the bar of soap so i can show you guys because i knew i was going to do this video eventually because i was like if this works I need this okay so this is a turmeric lightning bar so this is basically an all-natural lightning soap I'm lightening my dark spots okay so I, this isn't something that's like um, it's not chemicals it's all natural so all that there is in here is coconut oil olive oil palm oil goat milk castor oil turmeric lavender peppermint and eucalyptus that's it so this is using natural lightening agents to get rid of any sort of blemishes. So you can make something like this at home. You can make a turmeric mask. You can make a turmeric scrub. Turmeric is a natural lightening thing. So you can use that to get rid of any blemishes. So um, I know there's other like ingredients that help with dark spots like lemon. You can also use lemon. Make your own DIY scrub if you can't find this. I got this at my local beauty supply store. Um, it's called, the brand is called Soaps That Heal. Turmeric Lightning Bar here. So, you guys can see this. There's nothing crazy in the ingredients. It's organic, apparently. And um, this is what I've been using for months to lighten my dark marks or to, I don't know, help heal my skin, I guess. Anyways, this didn't do anything crazy. It didn't turn me into a whole new shade, so you don't have to be afraid. But it did help with the whole getting rid of the dead skin process and leaving my skin nice and bright. So that was my number one soap. As you can see, I've been using it, and it's still here, so there's a lot. It goes a long way. And secondly, I was also using some black soap. So this is a black soap from Ghana. <clears throat> This I got from my beauty supply store, so I didn't actually, this isn't what I actually got from Ghana, so you can get this at your beauty supply store. And I recommend using the raw black soap, like this real black soap, not the one that's actually black that comes in a box of like some super, like the Shea Moisture black soap or like the Andy black soap. I personally don't think those work as well, but if you do get this raw black soap, it is a lot more powerful. I don't know why. It can really irritate your skin if you're not used to it, so use it in small amounts because if you're not ready for it it can make your skin burn a little bit not literally burn but it can irritate it so be careful with this i would recommend using this every other day maybe every two days twice a week whatever works for you whatever your skin tells you to do then do that don't force this if your skin is burning and you can't handle it just stop so like unlike the other soap unlike the black soap this soap is very very um sensitive if that makes sense like it doesn't irritate my skin at all it's very nice and light and it has a nice peppermint smell to it so it also I feel like it opens my pores and gets it nice and clean so those are the two soaps that I use to help heal my skin when it comes to the dark marks and blemishes and then of course again like I said I was using this okay moving on I feel like I'm talking so much I just want to make this super clear so you guys can try this out if you want to or just like I don't know I don't want any misunderstanding so I want to explain it step by step so if you do try to do this you can do it properly and actually try to get results okay so along like when I didn't use my face scrub or if my skin was feeling a little bit sensitive I would just use my Neutrogena what is this pink grapefruit foaming scrub so I use this to get rid of any um, like dead skin I feel like exfoliating my skin kind of just really got rid of the dark 
um, build up and kind of renewed it. So that's just my mentality. Again, I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't actually know what I'm talking about. I'm just talking from experience, so that's what I'm gonna say. This helped exfoliate my skin and brighten it up a little bit. So when I did not wanna use my face scrub because my face was tired or something, I just gently used this and washed it all over my face and lightly exfoliated and this helped a lot. So this also has salicylic acid in it, so it did keep away any breakouts if necessary. But again, if I was breaking out like crazy, I do not do this whole routine. I just keep it simple and light and clean and fresh. Okay, so I used two oils in this process, and that was tea tree oil and lemon oil. So I used um, these little bottles. This is lemon oil, and um, I just ran out of tea tree oil, so it's gone, but it comes in a little bottle like this. I bought the tea tree oil from Walmart for about $12, I believe. They are, it can be kind of expensive, but it lasts for months, so I think it's okay. And this 100% natural lemon oil, I got it from my beauty supply store, and in the ingredients, it literally just says lemon oil. That's it. Like, don't be go getting any crazy face oils. Keep it simple, keep it natural, keep it clear. Like, don't do too much. Tea tree oil helped, um, what's it called? Heal the scarring. So a lot of times I did have dark marks that were, I don't know, like they still, like even when they were healed, they were, even when the acne was healed, the dark marks still looked a little like disturbed. Like it just looks irritated and it was still kind of painful and still like very deep. So my, my skin was flat, but if you actually felt my skin, you can kind of feel the pimple or like the buildup underneath. So it's kind of like what happens. I think that's like cystic acne. I'm not sure. So there's a lot of issues going on. So the tea tree oil really helped get into my pores and heal those um, blemishes that were hidden underneath. And then it also helped heal the skin on top. So that's when... When all of that was healed, that's when I was able to go ahead and exfoliate and do my regular process. Okay, so lemon is a natural lightening agent, so that's why I got this. I actually saw somebody using this on YouTube and I was like, hmm, okay, let me try that. So I went ahead and I got some lemon oil and I used this very sparingly because it can make your skin tingle a little bit. And I don't like irritating my skin, so I do dilute it and then I put it on a little cotton pad and I just rub it on my face. This I like to do during the day. Tea tree oil I don't like to do during the day just because the smell is so strong. I do tea tree oil at night and then this if I'm not wearing makeup that day and I just want my skin to be clean and refreshed and bright and just continue my process, I use this. So it's simple, it smells nice, it just smells like citrus. So, <laughs> And um, yeah, my main focus was to try to not wear too much makeup when I didn't need to, just so my skin could get a break. And I also used this, this is the moisturizer I was using during the time because my skin was very dry. So this is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. I wasn't using any special creams to help get rid of the dark marks. I was just using a nice, good moisturizer that would renew my skin and make it look alive again because it was looking dead like it was a dead so this is the cream that i used in the past like two months but the actual process of getting my skin to this it has been legit like a month i'm gonna just recap it quickly sunlight water turmeric soap black soap my electronic face scrubber tea tree oil and lemon oil and a moisturizer that's it i lied i lied I also used a clean and clear astringent. Is that how you say it? Astringent? I don't know, a toner, whatever it is. So it did have salicylic acid in it, so that also kept my skin nice and clean. And um, I wasn't dealing with many breakouts at that point still, I just wanted to be preventative, if that's the word, preventative, and make sure that I didn't break out during this process because I was really trying to even up my skin. All right, so those are all the things that I used, and I'm telling you guys, I was able to do this within a month, a month and a half tops because, I don't know, I gave my skin a break. Don't worry about what people think about your skin when it looks really discolored and whatever. Take the time that you need to do what you need to do so then when you're done, you can come back and be like, what would you say, you know? So they can let people look at you all crazy, but at the end of the day, you're the one who's gonna be looking poppin' in like two months. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful everyone's skin is different so it's hard to figure out what the actual like there's no method to perfect skin so you just kind of have to try things this is what worked for me and I hope it works for you so again I try to be as thorough and as detailed as possible so if you do choose to try this method 
I hope it works for you. Just keep your skin clear, give it a break, exfoliate, use good soaps, moisturize, and use natural essential oils. Like just be good to your skin, you know? Don't give up, you know, stay persistent, see what works for you and tweak this routine however you need to tweak it and you'll get there. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and that you guys can try it out and I will see you all in my next video. So yeah, thumbs up this video. It helps so much. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. Subscribe, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification button just so then you don't miss any more videos. And yeah, I will see you all later. Bye.